All right, it's go time. It's a new unit. Now you know. You are, you are in the zone now. Now you have your list of schools. You have your dream schools. You know what level you are and what division you're going to be shooting for. Now, the hardest thing is, is now how do I get seen? Have you ever been to a national qualifier? Have you ever been over to, let's say, Big South or to Las Vegas or to Lone Star or to, to MEQ? I mean, there are so many courts. I'm going down to Orlando in a little bit. And at AAU, there are nearly 200 courts of volleyball going on for about 15 days. Four different sections of volleyball players playing two different waves on 200 courts with four teams in each wave. That's eight teams on each court, 1,600 teams. The math just gets numbing. How am I, as a college coach, supposed to see you, the high school or club player? I'm glad that you asked. And that's what this whole unit is about, is how to get seen, okay? This chapter starts us. How do you get on my radar, okay? So the first thing that I want you to do as you go to, to find out how you're gonna get seen by me, I would really like for you to, after you listen to this, pause the video and go to universityathlete.com. Because how many times have you been in a qualifier and you've seen coaches walking around like this? And they're looking for different things. They're looking for courts. They're going to things like that. There is an app on my phone and on every college coach, nearly every college coach that goes to these things. And what they have is what they call the University Athlete or the UA Recruiter app. And we have to pay money for it. Guess what? You don't. It is a free website. Let me say that again. It is a free website. Go to universityathlete.com right now and fill out your profile. Pause it. The website is right there. Pause it right now and go to the website to fill out your profile. Because if you don't fill out your profile, you can be the greatest person in the world. But if you're not in my University Athlete app, I'm not going to see you. I don't just go walking around and saying, oh, that girl's good, oh, that girl's good, that girl's good, because guess what? You might be in middle, and these are your three rotations, you're on the bench. You might be a setter, and right now you're having to play outside or something. So for me, I'm asking you to go right now to universityathlete.com. You have to be proactive. That's number one. Number one is you have to be proactive. You cannot ask a coach to sit there and email every single player in the class of 2023. It's not possible for me to do that. And for Division I coaches, it's not allowed. So how are you going to get seen? You have to be proactive. You have got to do it. So a lot of coaches are passive recruiters. And what passive recruiters mean is they are waiting for you to express an interest in their school, okay? Very often, not all the time, but very often, I am a passive recruiter. Because what I want is I want you to fall in love with my school. I want you to say, you know what? Bellhaven's a great school. Now let me look at their volleyball program. I say it all the time. I don't want you to come play volleyball at Bellhaven. And you're like, Coach Dave, all right, good. I'm not even looking at you, whatever. But no recruit that calls me or emails me, I don't want them to come play volleyball at Bellhaven. I want them to come to Bellhaven to play volleyball. And there's a huge change in that. There's a huge difference between those two statements. You have got to be proactive in finding out those schools that fit you. Don't just take any school that calls you or emails you. Do your research. So number one for me is, you have got to be proactive. What do you do to be proactive? The first thing you have to do is you have to get on my radar. I have to know who you are. So what I need you to do is go to universityathlete.com right now and fill out your profile. It is imperative. It is necessary. It is your responsibility to do that. 
if you are not in university athlete, there's no way that I'm going to be able to find you. 90% of those schools that you want to go to will not be able to find you unless you fill out a university athlete registration and profile. Do it now. Okay, you're done with it. Have you finished it? All right, let's move on to number two. Number two is, oh, I'm gonna step on your toes right now. Get out your steel toed boots. All right, boots. <laughs> Number two says, it's your job, not your mama's. Oh man, I am not looking for an email from your mom. I'm not looking an email from your dad. I'm not looking for an email from your club director. I'm looking for an email and expressed interest from you. So do me a favor, gmail.com, go to Gmail and get a recruiting email address, okay? Samantha Smith volleyball at gmail.com. Something like that. Don't say bread and butter at gmail.com. Don't give me some flavor flave at gmail.com. Give me your name. If your name doesn't work, then get somebody else's. If Samantha Smith is already taken, put Samantha.smith or Samantha.smith Orlando VB. Whatever it is that whatever your name is. Find a recruiting email that you can use, okay? An email address that you can use. Go to Gmail, go to Hotmail. If you're really, really cool like me, go to AOL, all right? Find a free email address and use that as your own personal email address for recruiting only. But it's your job, it's not your mom's. I do not want to recruit your mom. I want to recruit you. You are gonna come play for me. You're gonna come and destroy some volleyballs or set up perfect volleyballs or pass perfect volleyballs. You are the one I'm recruiting. So it's your job to do your homework and to get things done. So number two is, it's your job, not your mama's. And we can put in daddy's in there too, okay? Number three, a lot of you guys are like, well, Coach D, uh, all this recruiting is too much money for me and I can't afford it. That's fine and dandy. You know what's free? Gmail.com. You know what's free? YouTube.com. And apparently you're watching this on a computer, so I assume that you have a phone or you might be watching on a tablet. I'm assuming you can film and video yourself playing volleyball. So for me, what I want to tell you is that you can afford hard work. Number three says everyone can afford hard work. It costs nothing. You know what costs zero dollars and zero cents? Effort. You know what costs zero dollars and zero cents? Your attitude. You know what costs zero dollars and zero cents? You getting a free email address, okay? You getting a free YouTube account, and you working your tail off on your phone, get a phone out and have somebody record it, have mom or dad record it. If you don't have anybody to record it, ask somebody go when you're about to go play, say, hey, will you hold this and watch this game for me? and film this game, do whatever. Somebody has a film of your game. All it takes is you being going up to them and asking them, hey, can I get a copy of this film? And then go through, get a copy of the film, edit it yourself. There are some free editing software out there. If not, put the full thing up on YouTube. Nothing, it costs nothing. Hard work costs nothing. Everyone can afford hard work. So don't come to me and say, Coach D, all of these recruiting websites cost too much. Coach D, it costs too much to do this or do that, to go to these showcases or these camps. It costs too much. It costs you zero dollars and zero cents to give your greatest effort and put your best effort and hard work into getting recruited. Email is free. YouTube is free. Those two things and a phone call to a coach is free. And then you can go bust your tail out there and play. Most high school playing is free. And you're like, well, Coach D, I can't afford club. I can't afford high school. You're gonna be a little bit behind the eight ball if you can't afford club, but guess what? You can still play college volleyball if you don't play club volleyball. But it takes you videotaping and getting in the gym with somebody, working your butt off and getting over there and hammering some balls down or setting some perfect balls. All I need to see is your skills tape. 
Okay, if I can see your skills highlights and watch some high school stuff that's probably free at your school to play high school volleyball, and if it's not, I'm sure that you can find a way to raise the money to do it. I'm sure you can find a way to raise money for your club. You can find some club that has scholarships that you can play. Okay, so don't tell me that it's too expensive because hard work doesn't cost a thing. Number three, everyone can afford hard work. Number four, how do I get seen? Showcases are the perfect ways to get seen. I talked to you in unit one about prep volleyball. Prep volleyball has some really awesome showcases. They come before every single qualifier. And guess what? You don't have to play club to go to, the, to go to this qualifier, okay? Or go to this showcase. You don't have to play club to go to any of these qualifier showcases. They're in Atlanta, they're in Dallas, they're in Vegas, they're in Chicago, they're in Washington, D.C., they're in Minnesota, they're out in California, okay? Prepvolleyball.com, look at the college showcase, the unsigned senior showcase, and they just call it the unsigned showcase because you can do it as a freshman now. Yes, it does cost money. It costs like 80 bucks. With that $80, you get free, uh, you get to be in prepvolleyball.com for a year or two. It might be 100, okay? But to be honest with you, today I worked a side job delivering groceries for people and I made over $100 in one day. Are you serious about playing volleyball in college? Are you serious about wanting to do the work? Because you've got to do the work. In order to play volleyball in college, you have got to get out and you have got to do some hard work. So for me, go out and do work. Go cut somebody's lawn. Go walk a bunch of dogs. Go babysit or pet sit or dog sit or cat sit or go and do shop for groceries. Go tutor a little kid in math. Do whatever you need to do to get this, to get yourself in front of everybody else. Some of you don't have any problems about money. You just ask mom, hey, can I have a hundred bucks? And she says, oh, is that it? Go ahead. But the rest of us have to work for it. And I know there are some of you out there that are worried about money. But you, there, this is such a great economy to find side jobs. Go do something. Go find a way to make some money and go to these showcases. You don't have to play club to go to these showcases. These showcases videotape you. They give emails out to coaches. Hey, this is the kid that's coming. This is her email address. This is where she lives. She's a 2022 middle. She's five foot 10. She touches nine foot eight. Go get her coach. Okay, let's go. So for me, the next thing you need to do is go to a showcase. And if you tell me you can't afford a showcase and you can't afford a club, I'm going to call, I, I'm going to tell you you're wrong because I know that you can. You have an opportunity to go to these things and those are the, one of the great things. Now, you might not be at a national qualifier. You might not want to go to that big of a venue. You might want to go a little bit more regionally. There are regional showcases all over the place, all over the place. Just type in into Google volleyball showcase, volleyball, college volleyball showcase, something like that. There's always somebody that wants to take your money. I would be very wary about some of them. I'll be completely honest with you. I've even worked for some that are like, they're charging you $400 for an hour's worth of stuff when you can get the greatest thing in the world on the Volley Academy, this thing for less. But if you want to be seen by college coaches, showcases are a great thing. And again, Prep Volleyball has a bunch of them. Uh, there are a lot of different ones. ABCA puts one out, but I think you have to be invited to that. Take a look through, uh, take a look through when we talk about recruiters and recruiting websites, ask your recruiting website, ask your club director, hey, what's a good showcase to get to? And most of the time, your club will be putting on a showcase and bringing in college coaches. So there are great opportunities for you to get seen by a college coach by going to college coaches or by going to college showcases, okay? And then the last one, how do you get seen by working your butt off? I know it says something different over there, but by working your butt off, how are you gonna get seen? Be ever present, all right? Make sure a coach knows that you want to go to their school. So many people said, well, I emailed you three years ago. You should know that I wanna to come to Bellhaven. I have no idea. If you emailed me three years ago, I wasn't recruiting you three years ago. I wasn't recruiting your graduating class three years ago. You have got to be ever present. You have got to work your tail off. So what I say is over here, number five, email, call, visit, email, 
call, visit, email, call, visit, and go to their camp. You should be able to afford a camp of a school. If not, go deliver pizzas. I did it as a 40 year old. You can do it as a 16 or 17 year old. Maybe not, it might not be legal in your state. But go do something, get out and work. Go to the camp of the school you wanna to go to. That is the best way to get seen. Because what happens when you go to a camp, you see the campus, you see the coach, you see the players that he works with, you see his coaching style. It's not just him seeing you playing against somewhere else, now you can learn the coach. So go to the summer camp of the school you wanna to go to. There is no better place to be seen than on the campus at the summer camp. You spending money putting it right in that coach's pocket probably. Now that coach knows, hey, you're for real. Because you might send 150,000 emails out, but you're not going to 150,000 camps. You're probably going to four or five a summer. And if you take the time out to go to that coach's camp, he's gonna see you and he's gonna know you're serious about his school. So as I talk to you about how you get seen, there are some free ways to get seen. Don't tell me that this is too expensive. And let me ask you again, it's not $100,000. And what we're talking about in today's marketplace and colleges, they're $25,000, $75,000 a year. And if you get a scholarship, let's say for instance, you get a full scholarship to Vanderbilt, praise God, I don't think they have volleyball, but you know, to somewhere like Vanderbilt, to Yale or to Brown or to, you know, name an Ivy League school, to Emory, okay? They're Division Three. Hopefully, they're not giving full scholarships. We play them next year, so hopefully you don't have full scholarships. But if you get a full scholarship to a great school like that, let's say, for instance, it's $50,000 a year to go there. Guess how much money you just made by getting a full scholarship there? $200,000. Is it worth you picking up some poop for some dog in a dog walk? Is it worth you taking and listening to a baby cry and being a babysitter? Is it worth you giving a little bit of effort right now to invest in you? How do you get seen by working your tail off? But here we go, let's go through them again. You have to be proactive. Go to universityathlete.com. If you haven't already, go as soon as I'm done here because I need you to do it now. Whatever, whatever you're doing right now, go to University Athlete. You gotta get on, you gotta get their profile at universityathlete.com. It is free. Do it. Number two, it's your job, not your mama's or your daddy's. You've got to be proactive, not your mom and your dad. It's not their responsibility. And you're like, yes, but they're supposed to pay for my college and they better help me. No. You get the job done. I'm not looking for mama's girls or daddy's girls. I'm looking for somebody that's gonna take their lunch pail, do their job, and come and bring it. I'm not recruiting your mom and your dad. I'm recruiting you. You've gotta do the work. Number three, everyone can afford hard work. Ooh, I love that one. You already heard me, I'm not gonna yell about it anymore. Number four, go to showcases. Yes, they cost money. Yes, they do, okay? Your club might go on that doesn't cost money, any money at all, okay? But go to showcases. Go to these national qualifier showcases. They're not the greatest, but they're a great first step. There's a lot of great ones. There's one at A5 that I can recommend. They have a couple of them at A5 in Atlanta that are just wonderful, okay? In this area, Memphis has one perfectly at the end of June, or excuse me, at the end of January. Uh, Memphis Metro run, runs one. Memphis Juniors hunt, held, holds one in, uh, in April. And New Orleans has several of them. There's one in Biloxi in March. There are several of them in this region, but I know in your region they have, there's plenty of them as well. And just go out, look, and make sure you get in front of college coaches. And it's it's very, very small amount of money. It's very, very small amount of work that you can do to make that money to pay for it. And again, I would really recommend that you pay for it, not ask mom and dad for it. Go out there and work. If you want a scholarship, go work for it. You can do it, and you can do it by your blood, sweat, and tears. And then the last one, be ever present. Email, call, visit. Email, call, visit. Email, call, visit. I mean, if the coach doesn't have your number in their phone, they're gonna know who it is because you've called so many times. They're like, oh my goodness, another 205 number. Uh, Susie's calling again. 
They're going to know your name because you are so ever present emailing them, calling them, visiting them, going to their camps. It's putting stuff up on Snapchat and, and social media and Twitter and Instagram, wearing their shirts. Be ever present. Show the coach. You have got to do the hard work. You have got to be proactive. How do you get seen? By making yourself seen. By going there. There's a new book out by a guy named Ken Coleman. It's called The Proximity Principle. Okay, I don't recommend it for you because you're not looking for a job, but you really are looking for a job right now. You're looking for a spot on a college coach's team. The Proximity Principle basically says for you to get around the people that are doing what you're doing. To get in the places of the people that are doing what you're doing. So you want to be in the proximity of these coaches. How do you get in the proximity? You get on their phone by filling out your university athlete. Okay? You get on their phone. You get on their email box. You get in their voicemail box. You're sitting right in front of them at camps. You're sitting right in front of them at showcases. Ask the coach, what showcases are you going to this year? And guess what? Then you go find a way to get to those showcases, however way you need to travel to them, and then how you're going to pay for them. And again, don't ask mom. You go do the work. Some of you guys have moms and dads that are wonderful. I'm not saying don't take their money, but I'm saying you can do the work. You can make $1,000 a month delivering pizzas. Go get a job. Go do the work. Go be proactive and go get seen. Got it? Now, easiest way to get seen is on video. How do we do a video? Glad you asked. It's coming up in chapter two. Thanks. Good luck and God bless.